<laughs> well, hello, YouTubers. Welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. I'm your host, Sean Donnelly. And I'm your co-host, Mary Ann Donnelly. Well, in this episode, we're going to take a little break of talking about the places that we traveled and kind of put together something that'll help you do a little Christmas shopping. Ooh, Christmas shopping. I love shopping. Especially if you're buying some gifts for paranormal investigator or a ghost hunter. Better yet, if you are a paranormal investigator or a ghost hunter, you could take this video and send it to people so they know what <laughs> what you <laughs> want for Christmas. <laughs> All right, I so what we have six. is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, number six, please. You know what? We're going to take it a step further too. Is all these items that we'll pro we'll do here, we'll put links in the descriptions on where you can buy them on Amazon. So that make it even easier. That would make it easy. So when I'm done here, I'm going to and the I'm smile gonna... boxes will just show up at your door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we got ten of them that we're going to list. So let's go ahead and get started with number ten. So number ten is. A laser grid. Ooh, lots of dots. Lots of dots. Well, there's some investigators out there that, that say that, you know, you shouldn't use laser grid. It kind of scares the ghosties away. I, I don't know about that. We've used laser grids before. Actually, we use so much, I keep losing them. <laughs> you forget to pick them up yeah, at the end of the night. Santa has to keep bring me a new one. Santa does have to bring you a new one, like, every year. Yeah. We did have some experience, though, with the laser grid. I believe it was at Hillview Manor, where we shot it down the hallway, and you actually can see things moving in the shadows. Mm -hmm. Kind of interesting. Especially down one north. Yes. Yeah. So, number 10 is a laser grid. Let's move on. All right. All right, number 9 is a digital recorder. That's like a staple. Yeah, especially for us. Have That's the most that. evidence that we collect is EVPs. Right? Yes. Now, I personally like my Olympus recorder. We have several. I think we have four. We have four digital recorders. Yes, we have. Uh, I, use the, I use the Sony use one the Sony. all the time. We have a, z a couple of Zooms. Yeah, we have some couple high-end uh, Zooms. We actually even have one that you can listen to in a headset while you're recording right. and see if you pick something up. But I really like the Olympus. I, and I, I really listen. like my Sony. She likes the Sony. So but I'm going to put a link to the Olympus okay. because I'm producing the video. So... <laughs> All right, let's move on. Number eight is a K2 meter. K2 meters. Those are fun. All the pretty lights. How many of those do we have? We have several of those. I, I really like, like the eight, K2 meter. Seven or eight. Maybe it's maybe it's number eight because we have eight. Well, that could be. Could we got be. a new one when we, we got, went to Stanley. Yeah, we got a new one when we went to Stanley Hotel. The first K2 meter we got, I don't recommend it, though. It has, yes. a, has a temperature, temperature sensor gauge. on it. And especially if you're taking these traveling. Yes. And you're sitting like in a ghost hunt or you're sitting listening to a presentation and that thing goes off. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. But I really like the K2 meter because I'm, you know, I'm a tech guy and I'm into electronics. So I kind of understand EMF a little bit too. Yeah. And if you're with somebody who's not really into, into ghost hunting, they're just getting into ghost hunting. It's something that they could see immediately. You don't have to go back and yeah. listen to it later right. or whatever. They get they get to see the lights flashing and they're like, "Ooh, you know." So a lot of that's like like a big one. Yeah. Um, oh, we're going to be posting some videos about the K two meter and different things that we caught, like how do we get detect vortexes and like at Lump Mansion and uh, Farnsworth House we used with the K two meter. But I always take this traveling with us the K two. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. All right. Number seven. Okay, number seven. This is probably your favorite device, right? Camera. Since you take so many pictures. I do take a lot of pictures. A lot of pictures. I, do. I counted how many pictures that we take because I'm restoring our hard drives. If you guys haven't followed along, uh, we had server go down and a hard drive crash. So, yeah, I'm restoring. We have over 137,000 pictures since we've been together. 11 years. That's a lot of pictures. That's a lot of pictures. Yeah. Anyways, so the camera actually hold that up, Vanna. Mm -hmm. This is my digital camera. It's a Sony. What's the model of it? This one here would be a Sony fifty uh, X. I don't know if there's a. Is it on the top? Right here, where your thumb oh, is. Oh, where my thumb is. It's a Sony CyberShot with a GPS and HD. 
interactive. I'll actually post the actual model, and if I could find a link like this, is that if this is still available. I bought this camera because we have several uh, digital SLR cameras that are right. quite expensive. Yes. And we decided we didn't <laughs> want to take those. Okay, you can put it down, Vanna. <laughs> we decided we didn't want to take those traveling with us. Right. Because we actually damaged one. <clears throat> we did. We lost we my Augustine. We lost my D50. I'm yeah. so sad about that. And, well, anyway, so now you, you have a little camera that you carry in your purse. And I we do. Have, we have other smaller cameras and stuff. But this one I bought... Um, for me to take ghost hunting and i really didn't research it i just wanted a smaller camera but it has a little bit of uh, the digital slr that camera will also do video mm -hmm. which is great so that kind of combines two things in one but i really what i really like about this is the photos and the video it will take in low light Yes, the, a lot of the SLRs will not do that. Right. They'll just mm. they just won't take. They were they'll refuse to shutter close right. the shutter. So if you go to museums or or historical places and like that, and they say no flash photography, that's the camera that you want because they come out beautiful. They do. Yeah. So, anyways, the digital camera must have for a yes. ghost hunter document things. Yep. Right. I I like using them not just to you know get the hopefully a ghosty someday. But uh, I also like to get it just to document what was in the room, where it was, who was there, that kind of stuff as well. Some day. We've caught several things on. Well, so. I haven't seen a full-bodied apparition in one of those yet, and I definitely want one of those someday. But anyways, I like to I like to do that show where windows were, where doors were, where chairs were, things like that. Uh, it helps me to draw diagrams of the of the building. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, our next item is item number six, the Boo Bear. Boo Buddy, aww. We don't have one of these. We don't have one of these. He no. seems so cuddly and cute. Maybe someday we'll get one. Maybe someday. But basically the way this thing works is you set it down. It, it doubles as a trigger object. Okay. It does. Um, so you set it down and it has proximity sensors inside of it. So if something gets close to it, it goes off. Yeah, kind of yeah. cool. You want one? I do. He's. Oh. I. I just want one because he's cute. Okay. I don't care if he works. I just. I, <laughs> I can just go cute. buy you a regular. Go bear buy me a really old bear and just tell me he's a boo buddy. <laughs> Shove some LED lights in it. Merry Christmas. This thing never goes off. I don't know why. <laughs> just never catch anything. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Item number five is the thermostat gun we have one of these we do we've used it several times yes you were with me right when we were down in the uh oh what jail was it oh uh, so that's the we're one i can't so say many oh licking county licking county jail <laughs> yes you were with us right down in the basement when i used uh, this you know what i may not have been i may have been up with you know what? It was in transition. I was there for the very beginning of it and the very end because I went up with uh, some of our other friends and we went into one of the cells and we're singing to, you know, them and got Ojo right, right, in the right, background right, 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 and stuff right. like that. Okay, so. so here's where this comes in handy. Um, a lot of times when you're out doing investigations, somebody will say, "Oh man, I feel a cold spot," or my this one side of me is like. Cold, really, really cold. You know, so I carry this in my pack and I can pull it out and I'll shoot on one side and it should get regular body temperature, which is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Correct. You shoot the other side, especially if there's a cold spot and you see a dramatic change. Okay. So I think in that case that we're talking about the link, licking, licking county, county jail, jail. Um, somebody said, I feel a cold spot. You know, I like, feel oh, really, okay, really whatever, cold. cold spot. One side, 98.6. The other side was like in the 70s. Yeah. It was yeah, quite was interesting. Yeah, it's a big difference. Yes. Yeah. Plus, these things will shoot across the room. I mean, because the laser will pick up. Right. And uh, so you can catch it real quick. Yeah. Just make sure you don't put it in anybody's eye. Yeah. You don't want to. Put your eye out, kid. Yeah, you don't want to put your eye out. Yeah. You don't want to shoot your eye out. That's a cool device to have. Yeah. Let's move on. Our next item, number four, is the Mel Meter. Yes. We have one of these. We do. Love it. Love it. This doubles as a EMF detector, like a K2 meter, but it also has a temperature probe. Yes. We have some videos going to be coming out. I'm going to reproduce them uh, from our Dark Shadow Ghost Tours visit when we went to Gettysburg. And we have some millimeter evidence that is quite interesting. 
Ooh. Yeah, shows a spike on the EMF and temperature change right when we were getting responses on the SB7. And was that in Soldiers Net? The Soldiers? Yes, down in the orphanage, mm-hmm. down in the little... Soldiers National Museum in yeah. the basement, the old orphanage. So this is a very, uh, very nice device to have. Uh, we also use this, too, when we go into... Um, the facility before we get started, like when we walk around to take uh, baseline, baseline readings mm-hmm. of uh, temperature and uh, EMF. Makes it real nice because you got them right. like right together. Right, so we jot that down so later on yep. during an investigation, if there's temperature drops or EMF spikes or something like that, we can care, right. compare back. So. Right, so why is it called the Melmeter? I don't know. Why is it called the Melmeter? Go ahead, teacher. You can see she's dressed up like a teacher. I could even dress up like a teacher. Hey, I am over, a teacher. <laughs> I'll flip over and you explain why it's called a melmeter. Well, it's yeah. actually a, a melmeter. Uh, the guy who invented it, actually, his daughter actually died. Mm-hmm. And he was trying to communicate with her. And her name was, was it Melanie? I think it's Melanie. I think it was Melanie. And so he, he said, you know, he was creating. Ghost Adventure show. Yes, he was about. creating this so he can, can communicate with her. And so he named it after her. So that's why they call it right. the Melmeter. And he uses it on the anniversary of every one of her birthdays. Yes. They, he, he makes her a birthday cake, and mm-hmm. they sing happy birthday and have the Melmeter out, try, to, right. uh, try they, to communicate with her. They communicate with her. All right, so let's move on. Our next item, item number three, is a REM pod. We do not own one of these. We don't own one of these. They're a little expensive, they a little are. pricey. They are. Um, kind of works the same way as that Blue Bear, though. You right know, with the proximity meter it also detects vibrations and things like that mm-hmm. and it'll know, light someday. up make sounds right maybe someday we'll add this we have a lot of equipment we got a lot of we money do. And equipment. we well, do REM pod we don't have no but i'll put a link to one maybe i'll send this to my santa <laughs> mrs claus uh, mrs claus Sorry. yes mrs all right so <laughs> numero dos what number? Numero dos. <laughs> number two, for those of you who don't speak Spanish. All right. Number two is the SB7. SB7. This is your favorite oh, one. Oh, yeah. It's totally my favorite. I hate the SB7, but most people really, really like it. Yeah. So I it's just that can't. immediate response. Yeah, I just can't handle this, the static sound. Static. Yeah. And I guess it's not too bad if, you, if you're away from it. We yes. see you seem to do better, like if you're on the other side of the room yeah. or another, because you can actually hear it. Right. But if you're right up on top of it, you have problems. I have trouble. It. Yeah. I, and I know Mike has has well, Mike doesn't have problems hearing it. He kind of like gets into the uh, process of conducting the right. uh, EVP session, so to speak. So he doesn't. He just keeps on going. But yes. um, we have some video coming out, a lot of video actually, yeah. with the SB7 yeah. where we got a lot of responses. Right, and I, like you mentioned, I I can understand it when it's farther away from me. Yeah. Um, I know in Soldiers National Museum in Gettysburg, down in the orphanage, uh, I was actually in the little hole, uh, and you guys were using the SB7 That's out the, in the hallway I have the and everything. Same footage from the Melmi. Okay. Yep. And uh, that was the first time I had ever actually understood what the what the SB7 said yeah, but when I was away from it in the hole. The only drawback about this is you really can't take this when you're traveling. You really can't. Can you imagine yeah. being in the bed and breakfast <laughs> laying in there and you kick it on at midnight? <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah. definitely be. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Can you please yeah. keep it down in there? All right. Yeah. It's, a, it's one of the ones that's a little harder for that traveling. but. Yeah. All right. So that leads us to drum roll item number one <laughs> okay. okay so, so what's number we've one? already talked about what did we go over we went over the digital recorder the, the must-haves okay. digital recorder digital camera what else well really that's really well those are the, those are the two that like are really really important and then after so that they get kind of exciting like number three number three i would i would say the the um k2 okay k2 yeah well so what would number four which is going to be number one but i'd say probably an ovalist no no it's not on the list it's not on the not list on you list. didn't put the ovalist on the we list we have an ovalist it's not on this list because number one kind of bumped it out and i wanted to do 10 and not 11 or 13 okay so no obviously 
probably should have did obelisk instead of rem pod but yes. we'll do another video later on about the obelisk but okay wow okay let's just bring it up so what's number one number one is night vision camera night vision see i thought you would say that because no. this is the first device that we had not the nice one like we have now, which is full spectrum and all that other stuff and quite expensive. But the little dinky one that we had, we caught our first evidence on. It was a night vision camera. And it saved you from breaking your neck coming down from the St. Augustine Lighthouse with it being pitch black. Right? <laughs> so true. You're right. <sighs> you're right. It is very, very dark in, the, in those lighthouses yes. as you're coming down those steep spirally a staircases. A lot of places that we go, it's dark. Lights are out. Yeah, but Pit when pot. you're, but you didn't go up in the top of the lighthouse at night. No. Okay. When you come, when you're going up, okay, you're going up. But when you're coming down in the dark in a spiral. So the night vision camera it, saved. It, it saved. It saved me from breaking my neck. Yeah. You're right. So, anyways, this is. I would probably consider this number four. A must have. You know, if they don't have now, these are just basically video cameras that have been modified. Right. Yes. yes. The filter inside of them has been taken out, so record infrared in Correct. full spectrum. Well, you can get an infra infrared night vision, or you can get one that's infrared and full spectrum, mm -hmm. which is the one we have. But I don't yeah. really use full spectrum that much. It's mostly yeah. infrared. Yeah. And they do make uh, digital cameras, the stills, as well as the video Yes. Uh, in this as well. Yes. We have one. It's black and white. Yes. Yeah. But uh, you definitely need the little lights to go with it to see farther yeah yeah <laughs> and then it starts but getting kind definitely of it's like a little it's a, handle to yeah, hold it and yeah, all that. yeah yeah it's but, de it's definitely nice to have one though when you're coming down out yes. of a lighthouse in the middle of the night so we didn't put the obelisk on there okay but if you could think of any other items that we may have forgot on this top 10 list or maybe you're a ghost hunter and say, hey, I want this item. You know, we should have done a top 12. Uh, the 12 days of Christmas. We could have, but everyone likes 10, top 10. I know, everybody likes top 10, but it's the 12 days of Christmas. All right, I'm trying to keep the video short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways, if you could think of something else we didn't have on the list, put it in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And make sure you hit the button to subscribe. Actually, I think it's over here. Maybe it's over, it's somewhere. <laughs> okay. I don't know. So we're going to keep this one short, like I said. And I think we're going to do another one maybe uh, later on this weekend with stocking stuffers for the ghost hunter. Stocking stuffers? Oh. Stockings are always fun. It's my sister's favorite. Stockings. Okay. All right. So that's going <laughs> to wrap this one up. So until next time. Happy hunting. And thanks for listening. If you like this video and like to see more in the future, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and give us a like below. Also, if you have any comments or, or suggestions for our future videos, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching this episode of Our Haunted Travels.